What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Poor Man Mods. Eastwood sent me another care package of some goodies. They sent me their Mac Daddy work light. This is their modular work light. It comes with an underhood light bar and also a tripod. So this is going to be extremely versatile and it'll give you light pretty much anywhere you need it. So they sent me this kit to do an unboxing and review of it. So uh, let's take everything out of the packages, see what it comes with, and then put it to work and see if this thing is really as awesome as they say it is. All right, so we'll open up the smaller packages first. It comes with two lighting system light module mounts. So this will attach the lights to the underhood bracket. Two of these guys. Bam. You can see both of them. I'm assuming a third one comes with the light bar for the hood, or maybe only two get attached to it. So here are the individual lights. Look at that. Each one comes with a 12 volt and a DC. Each one comes with a wall outlet charger and a 12 volt car outlet charger. And as you can see, these have one giant LED projector in them. Let's see what the specs are on these. So Eastwood is, the specs from Eastwood say that these lights each are 2.4 volts with a 2200 milliamp hour battery. They range, they are dimmable from 100 to 1000 lumens. On their highest setting, they're good for an hour and a half of runtime, and on the lowest setting, they're good for about eight hours. It takes three hours to fully charge each light. They are IP65 moisture resistant, so they can get damp, but you can't submerge them and they can be charged via a wall or a 12 volt like car charger. And each one weighs 1.6 pounds. And I believe they're also magnetic. I think. Yes, they are. So each one is magnetic, it's sticking right to my toolbox right here. I think it's cut off a little bit, but it is attaching to the toolbox. Oh, and they come almost fully charged from the factory. There's three out of four bars indicating their charge level. So three out of four of these bars are lit up. So this gives you a nice indication of what the charge level is at. And that's really, really nice. You can charge it here. And this thing is stupid bright. And, uh... If you hold the power button, it dims, and then it flashes. Hold the power button and it gets brighter. This thing is gonna be ridiculously bright. If you have all three of these lights on, you're probably gonna be able to suntan in front of this thing. Those are the lights. Let's open up the tripod and the hood bar next. All right, here is the tripod. light stand. It does feel very solid though. All right, so this is just your standard, from what I can tell, just your standard light stand. It is adjustable in height, which is awesome. Let's attach light to these things and see what it looks like. Mounting the lights to their brackets is very simple. Just place the bracket on top and use the provided bolts to secure them. To attach the light bracket to the tripod, you need to take the center bolt out. You can easily mount two lights just like this, but if you want the third light to be installed, you need to install this extension bracket. you have all three lights attached. Let's see how much you can adjust this thing. It's definitely a good idea when you raise it up, you want the legs spread out a little bit more. You don't want them super close or it could tip over. So let's lower this and see how low it can go. So that is the lowest point and that's actually really nice. I have a studio light, like a legit studio light, which I can show you right next to this. It can't go nearly this low 
which is a problem for a lot of situations. But now, let's see how high I can go. Uh, but I am five foot ten, five foot nine, and I'm just a little bit taller than this light, so pretty good height. This is my studio light that I referred to earlier. This light, just the light panel that's up here, which honestly is not all that bright, way dimmer than all these three. Just this light alone, I think was like $110. And this is a professional C stand. This is the lowest that this stand can go, which is frequently a problem for me. And this stand is well over $100 just for the stand. So over $200 just for this package, which this right here from Eastwood, significantly less. The whole package that we're looking at today is like 163 with the hood light bar and everything. And this is well over 200 for sure. And I don't like how this is the lowest it can go. Now it can go way higher but in an automotive application like what we do around here, it's not needed at all. I need light under a vehicle, under the lift. This can almost never do it properly. So this is gonna trick me a whole lot better. This is good for filming, but it's not good for the shop. Another thing that I'm gonna enjoy the hell out of this light from Eastwood is that it's all battery powered. You don't need a cord. You don't have to plug it in. My studio light has to be plugged in all the time very annoying and cords get in the way. So now, because this is cordless, we can take it to a really dark corner in our shop and show you how bright this light actually is. So let's get over there and see it. Okay, so we are in a very dark corner of our shop. We'll turn on all three lights one by one and see how bright they really make this area. And that's <laughs> really good right there just from one light. It's about a thousand lumens, 2000. And that should be 3,000 lumens. And I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up well, but just from standing here, it is lit up extremely well just from these three lights. But let's go Let's go into a smaller section, like maybe over towards that lift, and see how well it can light up a smaller area. Because I doubt you would try to light up a huge area like this with just these three lights. You're probably gonna be working with these. So let's go to the lift. All right, once again, we'll start off with each light one by one. And it makes this corner of the building very bright and very, very visible. Now you should be able to adjust these a little bit so you can, you don't have to face them all straight forward. You could kind of point them out a little bit, make a wider pattern, and you can also aim them down aim them up slightly. You can't go too straight up and you can't go up and to the side with these outer ones so you kind of have to either go down or to the side. You can't go to the side and up with these outer ones. But I do like that you can just angle them out a little bit and get a wider pattern and you can have this one in the middle shine down at the ground or shine up a little bit to light up the ceiling. Pretty versatile and pretty awesome. Okay, so these lights, these are looking pretty awesome. I'm pretty sure I'm extremely blown out if I stand in front of these. I can't see anything. You could probably suntan in front of these things. They're so bright. So let's take these lights off the tripod and put them on the hood bar and see how well this can light up an engine bed. All right, let's get this hood bar out. There is a third bracket on here, so it looks like we can put all three lights on here, but that's probably a little overkill. It does need slightly assembled. Loosen that up. This plastic spring needs to be pushed down. And then it can slide on. Okay, 
Now both light attachments are installed. Now let's get the lights installed to the brackets. To install the lights on the bracket, you need to loosen the two screws on the back. You don't need to remove them, but you do need to loosen them. Slide the light in. And we'll tighten down the screws. We'll do the same thing to the other one. All right, let's go install this thing. See how they do. Holy crap. That is amazing. Wow. That looks so good. I'm just gonna use this for Instagram pictures now. This looks amazing. So just these two lights on this hood light bar on full blast looks absolutely amazing. Like it is incredibly bright. Even just one does enough, really, but two is just absolutely phenomenal. But if you feel like you need more light, which I have no idea why you would think that, you can just stick the third one to your hood because it is magnetic after all, or to the firewall, or anywhere else that you need to. Extremely versatile. I love it. Love it so much. All right, guys, so you saw the Eastwood modular lighting kit. My personal opinion on this it is absolutely amazing. I'm a super big fan. I don't have, I f***ing hate you. I'm done. I'm done! You want to start my line for me, Tony? All right, guys, it's four man match. Yeah, boy. Been doing this a long time, buddy. <laughs> All right, guys, so you saw the Eastwood modular lighting kit. My personal opinion on this light kit, I absolutely love it. You know, I always do give my honest opinions. There really isn't any negatives about this kit. Um, even the... I hate you. I was actually truly surprised with how sturdy the tripod is. I was actually expecting it to be really cheesy and a rinky-dink tripod, and it's actually pretty sturdy. Um, I have full confidence in it. The hood light bar is amazing. And the lights being magnetic, it's just super versatile, and for using it around the shop like this, It's definitely going to make working around the shop a whole lot easier. You can use it on the hood, under the car, pretty much wherever. And being cordless, you couldn't ask for anything better. I've been using my studio light for a couple years now, and that thing is corded and just not bright. Gets in the way, and it can't get low enough. So this is really going to help me out. Um, yeah, nothing really negative to say about it at all. It's really not that expensive either. So all around, this is an amazing kit. If you guys want to check this out, I'll have a link to it in the description down below. I want to give Eastwood a big thanks for helping me out with this video. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you check out Eastwood, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.